Okay. See here. My name is Ravi Kumar T. S V E S N Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, S V E T, Bangalore. So today I am taking you know uh, taking the concept is isometric projection in engineering graphics. That is first year uh, P C L subject engineering graphics. So we shall see how to construct and what is the use of isometric projections. So isometric projections in one directions you can able to. Define or you can able to read all three dimensions. Okay, in one directions you can able to read all three dimensions. That is isometric projection. Suppose see, this is a hairs here. Okay, so in the orthographic projections, if you're looking from front of an object, you can read only, you can read only this dimension. If you're looking from top of an object, you can read only this dimensions. But if you place this in isometric position, means like this, 30 degree and 30 degree, 30 degree, 30 degree inclination. If you keep, you can able to read all the dimensions like uh, length, breadth, thickness. Okay, you can read all the dimensions. That is a speciality of isometric projections. Okay, so in isometric projections, as usual, you will be having a square. You will be having square and rectangle, rectangle, circle. triangle triangle hexagonal hexagonal pentagonal pentagonal so these are the laminas we'll see how to construct these are the laminas first after that we'll go for a solids so solids means one by one over the other means you know a cube okay or it's a prism okay so prism and it's a cone we'll see how to construct all those things first we'll see how to construct square in a Isometric projections. Okay, so square. Then you know they they will give forty by forty square. Okay, so forty by forty. First, I'll write a square. So I'll take forty by forty square. Forty by forty square. So we shall see how to construct this forty by forty square. Okay, and see whatever I am using the sheet here. This is already the sheet is converted into ISO ISO scale. Okay, this is already in a ISO metric sheet. Okay, we'll see how to construct this thing. See, first I'll take and here one more thing very important. This one box. Okay, this one box is equal to what ever one centimeter. Okay, one box is equal to one centimeter. Or here one unit is equal to one unit is equal to you can take it as a eight point one six four mm. Okay, instead of centimeter, you can take it as a mm. One unit equal to eight point eight six four mm is already converted. So you can take it as one unit is equal to directly directly one unit is equal to you can take it as ten mm or one centimeter or ten mm. Okay, ten mm or one centimeter you can directly take. Okay, so now they given. 40 mm. Okay, so it is a dimension is 40 mm. So 40 mm means what? One 10 mm is equal to what? One box. So similarly, 40 mm will get four box. Okay, so four box. See, I'll take this is center. So from here I have to take four box. See, one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four box. Clear? And again, see, this is your towards your. You know, right hand side, and this is towards your left hand side. We have to take left hand side and right hand side four box. One, two, three, four box. Okay. So then after that, you have to draw parallel line along the other line, other two lines. So you have to draw parallel line. Okay. See, these two lines are parallel, and these two lines are. parallel okay so this is how you can construct the square in isoscale okay then similarly so how to construct rectangle in isoscale so rectangle rectangle so rectangle suppose they'll give 20 by 40 how to construct this 20 by 40 okay so this is 40 and this is 20 Okay, so for to avoid the confusion, what I'll do, I'll take this is always towards our right hand side, and this dimensions will always take left hand side. To avoid confusion, not a rule. To avoid confusion, length long length long side will take it in right hand side, short side will take it in left hand side. Okay, so similarly here we'll be having a forty. So this is your right hand side, and this is your 
left hand side see this is RHS and this is your LHS. So, this side you have to take 40. So, 4 box, 4 box ok 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 box ok now and similarly this side will be having 20. So, only 2 box ok next parallel line this side is 4 box and this side is 2 box. So, this is your rectangle see 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, these two are parallel, these two are parallel. Clear? So, this is how to construct the rectangle. Ok, this is ok. Next we shall see circle, how to construct a circle in isoscale. So, circle it is a 40 mm diameter, 40 mm diameter. Ok, isoscale 40 mm diameter. So, first we shall we need to construct we need to construct 40 40 square. Ok, 40 40 square. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Ok, next this side you take 40. Ok, 1, 2, 3, 4 and again this side you take 40. Clear? And then this side you take 40. Okay, now. So, after that we have to find out the midpoint for this. So, how to find out midpoint? See, uh, you better you take 1 and this is 2. Okay. So, from 1 what is the midpoint to the opposite side? See, this is a point and opposite to this here midpoint. So, this you can take it as 3 and this is a point opposite to this side is point number 4. Okay. And this is a point opposite here point number 5. And this is the point opposite here, it is a point number 6. Ok. So, now you have find out the midpoint. So, what is the next? You join midpoint. So, see 1 to 4 and 1 to 3. So, first you join 1 to 3, then next you join 1 to 4, next you join 1 to 5, next you join 1 to 6. Ok. The students will make a mistake, very simple mistake. Ok. See. 4 4 box this is 1 and this is 2 from year to year opposite midpoint and from year to year opposite midpoint from year to year opposite midpoint from year to year opposite midpoint. So, we will draw a circle. So, now very simple ok. So, take 1 as a center and 4 as a point ok. 1 as a center and 4 as a point you draw an arc which joining between 4 and 3 clear. Next similarly opposite side from 2 from 2 and 5, so same distance you join from 2 to 5, same distance you measure the distance then join this ok. So, this is how you have to join and these two the students will do but the next mistake the students will take from this you know this is the center point to join here to here no that is wrong. So, this is the center point to join between the line join between the point 4 and 3 ok join between the point 4 and 3 clear. So, next similarly this is a center to join between the point 3 and 6 ok. Ok. So, circle we shall work out the 50 mm diameter circle. So, first 50 mm diameter right. So, you have to consider 50 mm box. So, 50 means 5 box 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 box and this side you will draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 box ok and this side you will get 5 box and similarly this side you will get 5 box. So, 1 and 2. What is the next step? You have to find out the midpoint in all the sides. One. Ok. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now, join join this join ok. So, next draw circle. See from 1 1, 2, 3. Okay. Next from 2, 
okay next from here okay next from this side okay now so this is how you need to construct a you need to construct one circle for 50 mm diameter okay so now we have completed square rectangle circle next we'll go with the triangle okay triangle 25 mm side okay so first in triangle so main is you have to construct one triangle with 25 mm sides you know with a usual scale okay 25 25 mm okay now next cut an arc here to your draw then again from here to your draw okay then join this and join this one okay so now draw box for this okay so to draw box for this it's very important draw box okay so draw box and do the naming see 1 2 3 and 4 okay so this will be 25 mm so we need to check this dimension so what about this dimension it is around 22 okay so 22 clear this dimension is 22 and you have to measure another important dimension is this one okay this is how much uh i'll get around 1.3 means 13 mm okay now so now we'll construct box box is 25 and 22 see 22 is approximately you have to take 25 is approximately okay not exactly see from here i have to take 22 So from here to here one box, again from here to here twenty box. So two box means twenty is over. Next point two. This is point five, and approximately you can take here. Clear. So this is twenty two. I already told this you have to take it in RHS side, and this you have to take in LHS side. So LHS side similarly. See two box, then point five box, two point five. Clear. Similarly, you have to draw this side. It's twenty two. Okay, then join. Clear. So one, two, three, and four is over. What is the next point? You have to find out the the smith point. So this is thirteen. Thirteen means from here to here one box, and thirteen more or less you get here. So now join here to here. Okay, so now you understood right how to construct the triangle. So similarly, I'll go with a, some other side triangle. So I'll go with a forty mm triangle, forty mm sides. Okay, so forty mm sides. First, I will construct forty mm triangle. I'll construct forty mm triangle. Next. now join from here to here then join from here to here that what is the next step you have to draw box for this here so do the naming 1 2 3 and 4 so this will be 40 mm always and i have to check this one here it is 35 okay what about this one this will be a 20 no it is 23 okay this is 23 clear so now we'll construct this is lhs side and this is your rhs side so 
40 right so from one box so from here 40 1 2 3 4 40 and this side you will get 35 ok 1 2 3 and 3.5 3 and here 3.5 and this side is 40 ok next is 23 23 means 1 2 3 box ok 2 and 3 box somewhere around you will get here join ok so this is how to construct triangle in ISO scheme ok got it ok so next is pentagonal 40 mm sides ok so I have constructed a pentagonal and then I have made a box for this 1 2 3 4 and I have taken a uh, dimension A B C D E ok and then I have find out box dimension 1 to 4 and 1 to 2 ok so 1 to 2 is 50 and 1 to 4 is 48 this should be in LHS and this should be in RHS ok see from here this is 50 so I will take 5 box 1 2 3 4 uh, 5 box and this side you have to take 48 means approximately uh, 2 3 4 48 approximately ok not exactly next from here you draw parallel line again from here you draw parallel line clear so 1 2 3 and 4 ok now here here please be careful ok so in 1 to a line you will be having a point b ok so you have to place point b here so what is the distance between point 1 and b so 30 mm so from 1 ok 30 mm so this is your point b clear next on 2 and 3 line we will be having a c point so c is from 2 to c is a 23 mm so from here 10 20 and 23 ok this is what your C next in between 3 to 4 line you will be having a point D and point D and B is a both are same line but you have to take the dimensions from 4 because we have measured from 1 to B and 4 to B these two are equal ok because these two are in same line ok so from 4 it is 30 don't take it from 3 ok from 4 it is 30 clear next you have to find out the distance between 4 and E and distance between 1 and E I have measured 1 and E is 8 mm and 4 and E is also same distance you will get same distance ok 8 mm here it is 8 and here it is E ok see 1 to E is 8 mm 4 to E is 8 mm ok you also say 48 so 8 is there so 8 if we subtract you will get 40 so if this is a A ok now join now join this ok Now join all. So this is one of the you know a bit difficult, but you have to concentrate. Okay. So this is how to construct pentagonal. Okay, in S scale. Okay. See, we shall see the how to construct hexagonal. See hexagonal. Forty mm side. I constructed hexagonal here. See. A, B, C, D, E, F is hexagonal 40 mm sides. So it's for this box. Box 1, 2, 3, 4 is a box. Okay. So we have to find out the dimensions for this box. So dimension 1 to 2 is 80 mm, 2 to 3 is 70 mm. Okay. And similarly, 1 to B, 1 to B is 20 mm is equal to 4 to F and as well as 3 to E and as well as C to 2. All dimensions are equal. Next, we have to find out the distance between 2 to D. 2 to D is how much? 35 mm. Because this distance is equal in the 1 to B. Okay. So we shall construct this as I wanted to take RHS and this I want to take LHS. Okay. 80 is RHS. So from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And this side is 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 70. Okay, next you have to draw from here to here. Okay, then you have to draw from here to here because these two are parallel line. Clear. So now 
1, 2, 3 and 4. See on 1 to 2 line you will be having 2 points. One is B and C. So B and C we have to place. So in between 1 to B is how much? 20. And then between 2 to C is how much? 20. So this is C. Clear? Next you want to place D. D is from 2. Okay, in between 2 and 3 line. 2 and 3 line from 2. So 35. 10, 20, 30 and 35. Okay, this is your D. Next you want to place E and F. E, 3 to E is 20. Then 4 to F is also 20. Clear? Next you want to place A. A and D is equal. So you can place here. This is A. Okay. So now you can join. You can join between 1 to B. 1 to B. Next B to C. Next 2 to D. Okay. Next E to D. Next D E to F. After that A to F. Okay, so this is how to construct hexagonal, pentagonal, and circle, and triangle, square, rectangle. Okay, thank you.